Hey coaches, in this video, you're going to see coaching by one of the Invite Change Master Certified Coaches, Carl Franco. This session was recorded by George Mason University and they have given us permission to share it with you here on YouTube. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments what you think about this session, where you would have made different choice points and other questions you might have asked. Eric, so delighted to uh, get to spend some time with you today in exploration and discovery. Hey, you too, Carl. You too. Sorry, I'm just hiding my um, yeah my people who are so okay. Now I've got your face. So we got to put on a good show for these guys, Carl. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> just just yeah, I love how you said earlier. You know, I think I got something. I I, I think it'll be good. Uh, so. Yeah. Yeah, how interesting that even that performance notion just always seems to be in the ether. Yeah, yeah. No, I was I was actually hoping that um, it's something that's come up, and I was hoping I wouldn't have to decide because I knew um, there was coaching. Today. I was like, oh, maybe I can, I can. So it's a real thing. I, I, I got a real thing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, well, Eric, we're we're brand new to each other. Yeah, we've got about twenty nine minutes. Uh, yeah. in our history thus far. Yeah. Um, I wonder if there are, I'm curious if there are any agreements, you know, maybe a couple of agreements that we sure. could put in place that would accelerate our trust in this yeah. partnership today. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, one I can think of is if my face gets blurry, which it sometimes does, will you tell me? Cause I'm not, I'm looking at you brother, not me. <laughs> okay. So we can do I that can one. do that. That's okay. a simple one. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Any, anything, yeah. anything meatier than that one? No, just like your coach, buddy, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. All good. You, yeah. I don't have to, uh, yeah. Um, just do your thing, man. Yeah. That's why we're here. Yeah. That's all I got. Yeah. I'm not worried. So awesome. Um, where would you like to be at the end of the session today? So I, I'm really, and I, and I can explain it. I don't want to get ahead of things, but, um, I, I've got this, this, um, I've got this question. It's a, it's about, um, travel. I can tell you the whole, you want me to tell you like the whole kind of the background? Is that okay? Yeah, I mean, okay. Let me just give you the gist of it. I won't take long. Awesome. So the gist of it, and and just to call this out, the first world problem. There's people in Turkey digging out of rubble. There's war in Ukraine. So this is a very first world thing. Yep. So um, the quick version is: I grew up in Thailand, lived there till I was 17, came to the states when I was 18 ish, and went back once. Um, and really haven't um been back to Thailand since about '96. Um. I went back when I was in early twenties. And so since that time I've come to the States, I have happily married, have family, I have all these kids and stuff. And um, I was supposed to take my family for the first time to Asia uh, in the summer of 2020. But of course the pandemic stopped mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And so now we're trying to decide, we're looking at, well, and my kids are like, I have two 12 year olds, a 10 year old and a five year old. And so we're like, is this the time we want to go back? And so my wife and I are looking at airplane tickets and it's like, just to fly us there is like, is like nine grand. And probably if we stay for a couple of weeks, it, it'll wind up being about 17 grand total. And so my wife is like, like we can do this. Like she's been, and it's also my 50th birthday this year too. So that's fun. Right. But like, um, we can do this, but is this something you really want to do? And so I'm really conflicted because in my mind, I'm like, and I'm going to should myself, right? In my mind, I'm like, I should, like this is epic, of course, like, and, but I don't know if I'm feeling it. And, and, and part of my like sort of whole identity is sort of wrapped up into like bringing the family back to the motherland, right? You know, and hanging out with monkeys and elephants. And, and so, and so I have to let my wife know like today because she's got, she's planning summer camps, you know, so this is all like very, <laughs> um, I don't know what the fuck to do. Like I, I, I'm, so it's a, so to answer your question, like I would love just to have some clarity around this. Mm. Mm. It's a very first world problem. Yeah. Yeah. But in this space where you and I are, it's, there is no other world, right? Okay. Not, right. Yeah. So yeah. 
let's let's just release that. Okay. As a as a pressure. Okay. Deal. Um, yeah, you know, I was gonna ask. Um, you know what? Uh, what has this being so meaningful for you today? But I, you clearly answered that. Yeah. <laughs> your, your wife needs an answer today. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I mean, if it went a couple days, it'd be okay. But like, yeah, sort of need an answer. Yeah, yeah. And, and she just emailed me like how much to go on the Star Cruiser down at Disney. You know, like the price comparison. So she's not like saying. Like just like literally while we were meeting you, she e- emailed this to me. I, so she's not like, I don't get pressure from her that it's like not to do it, but she's sort of like, is this really what we want to do? Yeah. And normally I'd be like, hell yes, but I'm kind of not feeling it. And that's yeah. really disorienting. So yeah. Eric, how do you know clarity for yourself? Like when you're clear on something, what's the experience that you're having? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a great question. I think it's, um, you know, I just feel the sense of flow, right? It's the sense of, um, of just real knowing. Um, it's really intangible. Um, yeah. For instance, when I signed up for this course, mm-hmm. I knew it right away, right? I mean, it was just like, not even a question. And, and I kind of don't have that around this. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know why. Yeah. And where do you feel the flow? Like what part of your being does that come from? Yeah. Um, I mean, I kind of physically feel it in my forehead. (laughs) Um, But in terms of the being, I think it's just, it's just, it's hard to explain. It's really just a knowing, right? It's just this, it's, it's just really clear. It's this clear knowing, um, that's really black and white. Like it's, it's just like certainty. It's like, I will be doing that. Yeah. And of all the things in the world, this should be like the most certain, like, I mean, to make a long story short, like this is like, yeah, it's big. It's a lot wrapped up in this, right? Yeah. And, and I just, and I don't know whether I'm just being lazy or it's the money or maybe I'm worried that like I pumped it up too much in my mind and it just, I just, but I just, just kind of not feeling it and I don't know why. What have you been tapping into thus far in grasping for that clarity? Yeah. I mean, I think, You know, for many years, like, like, so I came back to the States and, you know, I was very disoriented and like, I could make up, tell you a lot of stories. Right. But I mean, it's like, it, and this was a while ago, this was, you know, until I was about maybe mid twenties, 30, maybe. And, and it was, you know, like, that was the, like, everything was like, nothing's as good as there. Mm. Right. It was very like, nothing's as good as there. Nobody understands Nobody is, I mean, this is gets really like, sort of arrogant, right? Like nobody's as has traveled as much as I have, right? I, I work for, I used to work for a lady and she was the first person I met who traveled more than I had. Um, and um, but I was like, you know, nobody's traveled as much, nobody can understand, nobody, I can't really relate to people. And and I sort of got ri- I sort of overcame that, especially like when I got married and had kids. I was like, okay, this is legit, right? Like this stuff here, like it counts. And, um, and so it's just really disorienting to be like, well, shouldn't that old stuff matter? Like, and it sort of feels almost like I'm betraying, Mm. like I'm dishonoring it somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What Mm. meaning are you making around this trip? Yeah. Um, Mm. sorry sorry i knew this shit is gonna happen um sorry um i think it's sorry so this is like kind of the closest place i have to home Mm. geographically 
Yeah. Um, other than my family, which is also home. And it's and it's like this, this kind of tug of war between those two. Yeah. I, I don't know, maybe like my real home is not like my family, as opposed to like this place that I haven't been to in like 30 years. Um and so like maybe I don't need to go there. <sighs> yeah. Not sure. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, um, no, yeah. This is, uh, yeah. I'm so appreciating yeah. the, the enormity of, of this. This is, yeah. This is bigger than making a decision on a family vacation, right? Yeah, I, I, I guess so. I just, um, Yeah, I just, yeah, it's just, I'm not sure, like, you know, am I, like, dishonoring that past, and I just don't know. Yeah. So it's hard. And just, you know, to throw in something else for fun, um, I lost my mom about 18 months ago. Oh, so sorry. And so, so, you know, that's, like, thrown in there, too, and I'm like... But, you know, maybe it's okay. Maybe, um, you know, maybe I'm giving it too much meaning. I'm just, I'm not sure. Not sure. Yeah. What values are you wrestling with as you think about go, not go? Yeah. Great question. I mean, I think part of it is like, I, I'm not a big, um, like I sort of like to take risks, right? Like I'm a bit, like, I, I like to at least think of myself as somebody who, um, you know, if it's like, if it's like stay, if it's like act or not act, like I err on the side of act always, okay. um, even if it's scary. Um, so so part of me is like, wow, that's really um, sort of off brand to like not go. Like, of course, why? I mean, you go. Um, and so and then the other side of it is like, you know, I, I want to do what's best for my family. And I and while they get a ton out of it, it's a super long trip. Like, it's really expensive. I mean, we'd be OK, but you know, like, would they have more fun doing something else? Would they learn more doing something else? And so it's this sort of allegiance and responsibility to like all this past stuff. It's maybe just um, relevant to me versus, or not even, right? Because I'm not even feeling it or versus um, maybe not so wedded to it. Uh, there's a real should going on and I hate that word. Right. But there's a real yeah. should going on. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so uh, puzzling. Yeah. Sorry, please. No, no. Sh shoulds and maybes. Yeah. And maybes. Yeah. And you just, you just, um, expressed how your, your, you know, my experience of what you said that, yeah where uh, your MO is yeah. decisive risk-taking. Yeah, yeah, sure. What has, you, what has you curious about the shoulds and maybes yeah. around this decision? Yeah, no, thank you for that. I mean, I think it's, it's puzzling that I'm not like, just go. Like, that's puzzling to me, like that I don't, have that and and i'm wondering if maybe i've got it backwards and this is so weird for me to think about but like maybe maybe the risky thing to do or the edgy thing to do it's to not go is to be like fuck it I, and that's just it's just so backwards and so surprising and unexpected um because i'm really kind of not feeling it I, I mean i was thinking about it all day today i was like like I should be more. So if I was going to use excitement as a compass, 
right? Like that's sort of how sometimes how I like to live. Like I'm excited about it. Like that's a sign that that's a thing. And I, and I'm just not feeling like it's like, and, and, and I don't think my compass is broken. And so it's just, I mean, if I was going to follow my intuition, my intuition is kind of saying no. Um, and I just, and, and, and so maybe, maybe it's, you know, it's like, I don't know. And it's a, it's, it would really be trusting that intuition because everything logical says, dude, are you crazy? Of course you go. Like you've been planning this, like before you even got married and had a family, you know? And so it's just, it's just so puzzling. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Who else sits on your internal board of advisors? You said, oh, yeah. Excitement, intuition. Oh, God. Yeah. So Alexander's listening to this. He'll like this. So I've got this. I've got this. Um, if we talk in terms of parts work, right? I got this guy called the judge. And the judge is like Venom, Spider Man, the guy in black, you know, he's like scary and he's got claws and stuff. And he's, and he's, so the judge says a lot of stuff. And of course, when I tell the judge to settle down, he turns into the guys from the Muppet show, the guys in the balconies, you know, he says stuff, but it's, it's harmless. And so, so maybe that's that guy in terms of board of directors, who's there saying, who's judge is sitting in judgment thinking, well, maybe, you know, of course you're going to go. It'd be uh, Mm -hmm. treasonous not to go. It'd be heretical not to go. Um, Cause he's really old. The judge is old. I mean, and he, so he probably remembers the time yeah. I lived in Asia. Um, yeah. I hadn't really thought of that. Anything you want to ask or say to the judge? <sighs> no, he's really fucking scary. <laughs> he's really <laughs> scary. Um, <laughs> really scary. Um I mean, I suppose I could say that maybe that part just needs reassurance that by not going, it doesn't, it doesn't have to mean anything, you know, like it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to mean anything more than I make it. It doesn't have to mean that I'm, um, selling out or I'm being too tame or I'm not being, you know, I'm playing it safe. Oh, I fucking hate that. Playing it safe is the worst. Right. So, um, so maybe, maybe it's that part that's judging me for doing that, for playing it safe. Mm. Cause I almost feel like I'd be going like now that I think I almost feel like I'd be going it to like, please, please somebody. And, and I don't know who that would be other than myself. So, yeah. Eric, if you decided not to go, what would you want to make it mean? What would you choose to make it mean? Wow. Um, well, I think it would be, it would be a real sign of like letting that go. I mean, there's a lot of old stuff, like just letting that go. Like that doesn't have to be my North star. Like there can be other things that, you know, are as cool as that. Mm -hmm. Which would be a big deal. Yeah. Mm. (laughs) Yeah. And what would you fill that void with? Oh, there's so much, right? It could be like coaching stuff I want to do this year. It could be, um, yeah, I mean, it could be, there's so much I want to do like this year, like for the rest of this year, it's like all kinds of stuff I want to do. Um, especially around my business, around my coaching, Um, and, and, you know, I hadn't even really, it's been such kind of a foregone conclusion that we would do that. And it was going to take, it was going to suck up so much money and so much, see, I don't have to worry about leave. I work for myself, but my wife does. Right. 
And so um, that it would just open up so much possibility. I mean, there would be a lot of benefits to it. It would take a lot of pressure off. I might even get a chit with my wife because, <laughs> you know, um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it would be the answer quite would be a lot of possibility. Yeah. What are you noticing about energy and use the word flow? What are you noticing about energy and flow as you're talking oh, about? Such a good question. Such a good question, Carl. I mean, um, Yeah, I think I feel more energy around this. It it the other the other like to go feels like a lot. It feel it almost feels it almost feels like it would be a chore. Mm. And and to not go almost kind of feels like a relief. Um and it doesn't have to mean anything. It doesn't have to mean we'll never go. It maybe it just means we'll go when like airline prices are cheaper or Hong Kong just announced this thing where they're like, they're going to fly the first five, half a million people like for free. So maybe we jump on that bandwagon for like the fall or the spring. Hong Kong's totally cool. Um, so, so it doesn't have to be so like all or nothing. It could just be like, like you said, maybe, maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. That actually feels a lot better. I think. Just that it feels like we're forcing it. It's mm -hmm. so expensive. And, and like we're talking about like going through Tokyo and it's okay, but I I, I want to go to like there's so many other places. Yeah. It just doesn't feel like it's right. So that the energy around that I think is better. Yeah. And I don't even really think I'd have much of any regret. Like I think once I make the decision. Mm. I think it could be really empowering. Yeah. What's that judge doing right now? Um, yeah. He's skeptical. <laughs> He's skeptical, right? Um but sounds it, it like sounds, improvement. We went from Yeah, he's skeptical. He's not like all <laughs> snag snarly. Um He's sort of Muppet-like right now. Yeah. Peter Tranquilizer for the judge. You know one of those darts from Wild Kingdom with the little feathers on the back, you know, Lauren Green, you know, and just, you know, that's what we need for the... Right. Um, so, yeah, he's calming down. It just... I, I really like what we've said about possibility. It just opens up so many other possibilities. It takes so much pressure off. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's good. So how yeah. would you, how would you describe your clarity? I mean, I think it's surprising. It's, um, um, it's super helpful. Thank you. Um, um, in terms of the, in, like logically it's completely twisted, but like in terms of intuition and energy, like it, it really, it, like, I think there's clear, there's way clarity there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling in your forehead? Um, yeah, it's there. I mean, it's actually there. Thanks for asking about that. It's, it's like actually like that whole, I mean, it, sorry, I swear a lot when I get excited, but it's kind of like, fuck it. Right. It's like, you know, it's like, it's just like, fuck it. It's like, like, you know, we, like so much is I, I sorry, uh, but like so much has changed in the last couple of years, especially for me personally, but also just the world and just like just fuck it, like you know we don't have to do like all the things we we thought we would, and it could change again. And I I just I just think you go with that. I mean I think that's the vibe right now. Yeah, I mean who knows what could happen? So I think it's I think it's right. Yeah. So as you leave this session today yeah. and leave even the class, sure, sure. What, what do you what do you do with this clarity? Like, what's next steps? <laughs> well, my wife, my wife's gonna like. I think I'll I'll talk to my wife and be like, yeah, I think we can, I think we can hold on this and maybe have a conversation about what else we would do 
what else we c- can do. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe have a conversation about if we don't go like this summer, like maybe we go again, maybe a time of year where it's not so expensive. Um, I mean, it just opens up all kinds of things. So I, I think that's right. And, and I really did not have this 30 minutes ago. So I, I'm really so thank brother. Thank you. Like really helpful. Um, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm experiencing a, a, a huge lightness in you. Yeah. No, it's a sense of relief. I mean, it's, uh, Yeah. I, I have clarity around this, like that clarity, like that, that inner knowing, yeah. like it was just, it just, it was just, I think it was just covered up by a lot of expectation. Um, a lot of should, um, it's still scary, but, um, sure. I think it's the, I think in some ways it's, it's the, <laughs> it's the risky thing to do, which I like. So <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's good. I love how you reframed the risk in this. Yeah. Yeah. The risky thing is to stay, do something else. Yeah. Which I, which, which works. Yeah. That's good. Any other support you need in this? Thanks. Thanks, Carl. Like you, you, you're really helpful. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm glad I raised my hand. So, so am I. (laughs) It was good. Love it. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, brother. Thank you.